Hello everyone, Spencer from Buildapreneur here, and today we're going to be talking about email marketing as an affiliate marketer, okay? It's totally different than email marketing in every other industry. There's a lot of specific things you've got to do as an affiliate marketer to succeed with email marketing. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, we're back. Before we get started, there's two things to know. The first one is please click subscribe. If you're new to affiliate marketing and you want to get into affiliate marketing, I put out videos every single week. And if you want to get notified when those videos come out, click the subscribe bell. The next thing is there's two links down below to two free courses. Clearly, you're interested in email marketing or you're interested in affiliate marketing. Probably you're interested in both. There's courses down below to free affiliate marketing training and a free email marketing training to help you get started a lot more than a single YouTube video can do. But let's get dive or let's dive into that video right now. Okay, so we're gonna go over seven tips that you need to know as an affiliate market, okay? And I'm actually gonna be hopping back and forth. I'm in my hammock as you can see, so I don't have my two monitors. So I actually need to hop back and look at my notes occasionally. <laughs> um the first thing I want to talk about is automation, okay? So um, a lot of affiliate marketers, they they uh, they collect email addresses. So I, I do a lot of coaching calls, and I'll see these affiliate marketers, and they they're putting out things, right? They're putting out free content and stuff like that, and they're they're collecting all these email addresses. Um, the problem is most people don't have the discipline to email those email addresses every day, right? Like we know we're supposed to, but it's kind of hard to like every every day or every other day to sit there and email out these people. And so what ends up happening when I coach these people is like the first question I ask is, do you have an email list? And they say, yeah, you know, 500, 1,000 people on it. And I say, oh, when's the last time you sent them an email? And they say, oh, I don't know, like two months ago, three months ago, you know, when's the last time you made them an offer? Oh, I don't know, six months ago. Okay. So you, you see like, oh, well, how are you, how could you possibly make money as an affiliate marketer or email marketing if that's what you're doing? I'm like, yeah, you know, that's a good point. Um, and it's fun. I'm the same way, right? Like I, I don't have the discipline to sit down every other day and write out this email and make this offer and like build the sequence and things like that. So here's a better way to do it. Okay. It's called automation and you've got to do it with automation if you want to succeed with this. So I use a, a, company called Active Campaign to do all my automations. And and basically what you do is you're going to build out an email sequence that every email address you capture can go to, okay? So instead of having to email out every single person, you know, email out an email every other day, you create a sequence and then you're able to just put people into the sequence as soon as they, you know, as soon as you capture an email address, they go into the sequence and then they're automatically emailed for a long time after that, okay? So you can see my sequence here. Whenever I get a new email address, it's automatically put by ClickFunnels, my landing page software, into Active Campaign, my email marketing software. It waits for a day, it sends an email, it waits for a day, sends an email, it waits for two days, it sends an email. Okay, so you can see this email sequence here. And what that means is I had to write all these emails once and now I'm done, right? Every new email address I get is going to come through this email sequence and I'm now done, okay? So you see all those affiliate marketers like, I make money in my sleep, you know, and they brag about it. Well, this is what they're doing. This is how they're making money in their sleep. Their their email automations are running for them. And so every time they capture a new email address, that email address goes through months. Can you see how long this is? Literal months of, of email automations of just getting emails, okay? And... The second really important thing to know when you're doing this is you've got to you've got to choose evergreen offers. Okay, so this doesn't work if you're if you're doing all these product launches and things like that where the product is going to launch for two weeks and then go away, right? It's a launch special or something like that. It's got to be products that are called evergreen. Meaning you've got to choose products that are going to exist now and they're going to exist six months from now and you know they're going to exist a year from now. So the affiliate program is going to continue on and it's not just like a one-time two-week bonus sale or something like that. Okay, so they're called evergreen affiliate programs. So you need that and then you need an automation. Um, I want to talk more about that and how that all works. The second thing you need to know is you need to build your automation piece by piece. Okay, you need well, people look at this and they get overwhelmed. Like, holy cow, how could I possibly you know write all these emails? That'll take me years, and then I'll never be able to even get started. You know, it really isn't that hard. Okay, so what I do is I create one week's worth of emails. Okay, so I email people two to three times a week. So that's two to three emails. Okay, two to three emails. We can all do that, right? And then after that, every day or every other day. I put into my calendar, you need to add an email to your automation, okay? So I'll add a, an, an email here. And then a couple days later, I'll add another email here to the end of my automation, okay? And so as long as I stay ahead of like my, my original first few email addresses that got added, then I'll always, they'll always be getting every email, right? And so the way this works is you, you write three emails, you sit down, you do your first three emails, and then after that you just got to be consistent in adding to it for a couple months. It's hard, but you've got to do it for a couple months, and after a couple months you've got 60 70 80 emails all ready to go right all built out and now you all the marketing you do is not going to be wasted because you know that every single bit of marketing you do that brings in an email address results in that email address going through this huge automation and very likely you know you're making a dollar two three dollars per email address per month um, which is kind of the benchmark for for affiliate marketing with email so 
that's how you build this, okay? You, you just do it piece by piece, bit by bit. You don't have to stress about it. You just start with a little one and you build a little, you add a little bit at the end of it every single day. So that's step two. Step three, tagging. Okay, you've got to tag everything that people are doing. It's really easy to do an active campaign. It's easy to do in most of them, honestly. Um, basically, when people click, uh, you tag them. You, you add a tag that says they clicked on this. When people come in through certain things, when they like opt in through different lists, you tag them, okay? Anything that you can tag somebody for doing, you want to tag them for doing because down the road, you never know when someone's going to come to you and say like, hey, I've got this product that's like this and you're like, oh, okay, like I actually know very specifically which part of my, you know, uh, which chunk of my email list would be interested in that because I know everyone that's clicked on this offer or everyone that's opened the email that talks about this or everyone that came in through this list. Okay, so you want to keep that data tagging and list so that just so that you can use that in the future. If you get an offer that's like, oh, my whole list probably is not interested in that, but a specific chunk is, well, good, I know exactly which chunk that is because I've been keeping track and tagging people as they've been acting. Fourth thing to know is creating your relationship first, okay? Um, this is what's known as a soap opera sequence. Well, it's known as a lot of things, but uh, I know it as a soap opera sequence. Um, basically, your first few emails shouldn't be selling to your customers. Okay? Your first few emails, when someone puts in their email address, the first few emails in your automation should be relationship building, okay? They should be helping your customer understand who you are, why they should trust you, you know, why in a week when you start trying to sell them something, why you know they why they should trust that that's real and that you're not just some scammer on the internet, um, and so that's done through a soap opera sequence. So basically, it's it's telling a story. It's telling your story. You tell them your story over a series of emails. Why you do what you do. Why you want to help them. You know all, all these things. And um, what that does is it builds it builds your reputation and it builds this relationship. Even though it's kind of one way where they they feel like they know you, they feel like they trust you, and they feel like they relate to you. And then in a week or two. You start sending out emails that are selling things to them, and you and you're getting twice the sales rate, twice the click through rate, and stuff like that, right? Because your first few emails weren't weren't just like, hey, I want to make money, I want to make money off you. It was like, hey, I am you, I was you once. I kind of want you to get to where I am. Here's the journey I took. I'm going to teach you that in the next emails, and I'm going to offer you products that will help you get there, that help me. So that's the fourth thing, okay, is, is start with that relationship, build it in the first few emails. Um, I love to add videos to the first few emails, links to like YouTube videos, because I find that when someone watches a YouTube video of me everything changes. They, they, they suddenly are much more willing to buy from me. They know me. I'm not just some scammer. I'm like actually a, a person, you know, they can see and like know that I'm not some crazy like dude in his basement or something that's just trying to scam people out of money. Um, so that's step four. Maybe that's step five. I can't remember. Step five is what I call a shotgun approach. So once you've created that relationship, um, then you still aren't going to sell them every single email. Okay. So you're seeing all these emails, these blue bars or emails that go out every couple days. I don't sell every single email. Okay. I sell I'll sell for like two or three emails where I like focus on trying to get them to buy a product. And then I step back and I just talk. I just, I'll, I'll talk about like the stuff, stuff that happened that day. I'll do motivation. I'll do quotes. I'll like say, Hey, I watched this movie and it really made me think of this in like the entrepreneur space. So just, it's, it's, it's the shotgun approach really. You're just like all kinds of different things where you're still kind of building your relationship. You're still, you know, providing a diverse kind of emails to them, but you're also selling intermittently through there. And then, and once again, they now don't view you as just some guy who's just hammering with the sales pitch all the time. You're providing value in their life and intermittently mixed in there, you're selling them things. Um, this is also a way to keep your list happy with you and, and unengaged. Um, the next thing is when you do start selling affiliate products, I'm actually, let's just step in and look at my notes here um, for the outline. You want to do it over multiple emails. Okay, so a lot of affiliates make the, make the mistake of sending a single email. Like, hey, there's this product, super cool, check it out, boom, done, right? Well, there's a couple problems with that. First, uh, maybe what, 20% of your people open that email, so now you've lost 80% of them. The second thing is you can't, you lose, you lose maybe 10, you know, probably 50% of that 20% you lose in the first few lines for whatever reason you didn't hook them with that first few lines. And that's, that's pretty standard. And then even after that, you lose a bunch more because you, you know, you didn't appeal to, to them. You didn't appeal to what their needs and their desires are and things like that. Um, so you do it, you do it over a few emails where you can actually, um, you, you can you can hit you know you'll get you'll get a 40 or 50 percent open rate over a period of a few emails and you can also you can also um, create you can prepare them to be more sold okay you can prepare them for your offer um, so like a typical email sequence when I'm trying to sell an affiliate product is um, I'll send an email that first starts creating a need okay so it it, oh, it, it helps them to see why they're gonna need that affiliate product it shows them you know that the gap in their life or the gap in their marketing or whatever it is the, the gap that this is gonna fill and help them in their life and then the next thing I do is I introduce that affiliate product as the thing that fills that need and then the third email really sells that affiliate product okay so the second email just kinda like touches back on that need 
talks about the product that I use that, that helps fulfill it and it's done. The third email actually sells that product. Okay, this is like the full on like boom, it's awesome with this, it's awesome in this, boom, look at all these reviews, boom, boom, boom. It's like a really sales oriented email, right? Um, and sometimes I'll even send that one out twice. The fourth email is bonuses. It's basically like, can I tip you over the edge? Like, hey, if you didn't buy, what do you need to buy? Do I need to give you some bonuses? Do I need to give you some additional training? Um, <clears throat> do I need to make this offer in addition? You know, there's a lot of things you could do, but basically you're, you're sweetening the pot for those people that were kind of on the edge. And then you're also reminding those people because a lot of people probably were sold by your last email, but life happened, right? They, they got distracted, things happened, and they forgot to buy it. And now you just remind them like, oh, yeah, I was going to buy that. I better hop in and go buy that. Now there's this cool bonus that I can add to my pot here, you know? So that's the that's kind of like a, a sequence that I'll send out, and then we'll go back to the shotgun approach, okay? Then the next email will just be motivational and a story or a video or like a, a straight up just free training that's beneficial to them, okay? And I, I do that a few times, and then I go back into a sequence that focuses on a product a few times. Um, okay, last tip here is how to go about this with launches, okay? So I have a lot of people say like that that's all fun and blah blah blah, but sometimes like there's an actual cool product launch. Like in fact, just two weeks ago, someone reached out to me like, hey, we're launching this really cool product on how to make software would you promote it for us? And I was like, oh yeah, that's a really good idea. I think a lot of people can benefit from that. But guess what? All my subscribers are in the middle of these automations, right? So what do I do? Um, super cool, super easy to do an active campaign. There's two ways that I've seen people do this. What I do is I just pause my automation, okay? So I have this automation. You see how it says active right here? In active campaign, I can click inactive. Everything pauses. Everyone freezes wherever they're at. Once I send out all this, you know, the, the product launch stuff, I can reactivate my automation and they just start up wherever they left off boom not no huge deal might be a little weird for some people where I've like told them in the next email will be something but for most people it works out pretty well so that's the first way the second way you can do it is you can actually have your emails go off in automations only on certain days like Monday and Thursday or Monday and Friday or something like that and then you just know that you you know that you always are emailing your list Mondays and Fridays so you can send out any kind of campaigns for product launches Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday or th something like that so those are the two ways that I've seen people work with product launches with this and that way you can still have the passive income that comes from automation but you can also get that really active income when there's like a product launch and you've got a list of 5,000 people you really want to push it to and you know get some money now which doesn't ever hurt um, okay so that's this is how you, uh, this is how you do affiliate marketing <laughs> for for two things one with email marketing and two in a way that actually you know make, makes your income passive and then where software is doing your work while you're sleeping so that you can focus on uh, either other parts of your business or if you're really at that point you know beach bumming or sitting in a hammock or whatever it is that you do so that's affiliate marketing with email marketing let me know if you have questions down below let me know if you have comments down below um, additional tips I know a lot of people that watch this channel uh, probably know more than me about a lot of this stuff so this stuff works for me but what works for you